dallying. Welcome back to Call to Arms. We're going to continue. I can't remember what we were even doing, but I know the encounter ended and uh, Doric was reading the, uh, the the tome. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> no need for any kind of check. I just need to pull up the information here. Okay, um, so what you can gather... There's some there's some images in this book. Uh, there's a few other like snippets, um, but the most prominent thing that you find and, and perhaps read aloud to the party is this. And I'll just paste it in chat so that you can read it aloud. In, can I whisper you even? It's too much effort. Um, yeah, yeah. So here lie the Iron Guard, eternal defenders of the mountain. The lineage now broken, the mountain herself will decide who is worthy. Uh, that's the that's the general gist of the tome. Yeah, well, okay. We're on the right track, at least. Yeah, so far, we killed everything. <laughs> and I do mean everything. <laughs> really well played at this point. Steps. Yeah, there's maybe some controversial uh, decisions, but, you know. All good. Um, how do how do you proceed from here, guys? You've you've just uh... let's head out and stairs. Okay, one I almost wonder the if are those gargoyles. You almost wonder if they're the defenders and a curse was laying upon them, and that's why no one has ever returned. You you can you examine the uh... in the base. <laughs> <laughs> you can definitely perform an engineering check to uh, investigate the the gargoyle corpse, um, and perhaps yeah. discern some more information. Certainly possible. possible. Get a bonus if anyone lends you a Dungeoneering handbook as well. Sure. I can lend him that handbook. All right, that's mm -hmm. going to be two d six Dungeoneering and wisdom, presumably. You could maybe lawyer and intelligence. Let's see. So plus two, all the rest are zeros. Okay. Um, <laughs> dude, wasn't quite expecting the success. Let me pull up some information. I don't know why I was just sitting here slacking off. Um, you can't get all of them. Gargoyles. No way. Okay, um, so you examine the creature, and you can see from the, the wounds that it sustained... Um, I did describe it as crumbling before, yes, but as you kind of pull apart, someone has really bad echo on their mic, it's Doric, just letting you know, it's not the end of the world, just letting you know. As you kind of dig through this pile of rubble, you, you, your hands become covered with this kind of slimy blood, and you, you realize that these things are kind of armored, but they're still creatures, so though they are they have the appearance of gargoyles. They are actually uh, magical beasts, in fact. And you also learn that due to this, they're extremely vulnerable to corrosion. Because as soon as that armor melts away, they're just a squishy, fleshy body on the inside waiting to be prodded and poked. Um, so if you ever encounter one of these things again, it may be a real gargoyle, but it could be another of these of these uh, imposters and uh, acid or some corrosive element may prove beneficial to you. Cool. Acid always works Acid on monsters. Works. Acid and everything, like. always everything. works. Everything. You just, just Period. Okay, so... Fighting the Nesting Dragon. Doric finishes uh, examining the uh, the corpse. How do you proceed from here, guys? Uh, it seems to be a slight bias towards the stairs, but uh, let's get that decision. Yeah. We're, we're all um, in agreement on the stairs? Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah. I'm feeling a little bit of echo from you. Echo from you. Oh. Um. Any better? I don't uh, know. Any better? Testing. Testing. Yeah. It's better. Yeah. Should we get? It's good. Okay. So we're gonna take the same formation, like scouting ahead or moving together. That's. Head together and kill everything. Do you right. take the right staircase or the left staircase? That too. We just had one staircase. So, sorry, let me uh, <clears throat> go back and reveal what you're seeing then. Essentially, it descends both left and right. 
You can see that now. Oh, right? Now it's different. We we need information. Let's go hey. left. Flip no, flip the coin. Flip a coin. Oh come on. Left left's a good place. <laughs> I don't know, if we go right, we might see a little more room that we already have a slight glimpse into from that corridor, because it went downward in me. So there's going to be less chance of dying since there's two less monsters over there. So sure, why not? Let's but, go right. In theory. You're descending yeah. the right stairs. Yeah, right, right. Sounds, sounds good. Okay. Um, you're going to love me for this, guys. Both of the staircases lead to exactly the same place. <laughs> um, the choice was arbitrary. Um, <laughs> that's uh, <clears throat> yeah. Maybe we'll make those decisions more quickly next time. <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not pressuring anyone. Here we go. So I'm just dropping your character tokens in now. Um, <clears throat> you're on the right staircase. Uh, you can perceive another grand hall, very, very reminiscent of the one that you just left, only this one's slightly shallower. It's about half the size, half the depth from your perspective. Um, yeah, you're kind of seeing the extent of the stairs, and Jesus Christ. And the fact... F- you're seeing Jesus Christ. Um, and this, this room kind of opens up um, down below. Uh, yeah, so... <clears throat> You would have to advance a little bit further forwards, perhaps using the torchlight, perhaps squinting really hard, perhaps using some low-light vision to perceive what lies beyond. But right now you just see the bottom of the staircase opening up into another grand hall. What if someone has a torch up on the bot, the top, near uh, here-ish, and then someone with low-light vision looks from the lower area to see? Maybe a dwarf. It's a tomb for dwarves. A tomb for dwarves. Maybe Dodic should head ahead. Go ahead. I got you guys. I might have. I might have the best chance of being able to see something without, and have an idea of what it might be, since it's a dwarven tomb, and I have a knowledge of dungeoneering skill. Exactly. Give him a torch and into the fray. Okay, that seems like quite a reasonable plan to me. Just kind of reorganizing you guys a little bit. I don't know, you probably want the warriors in front. Um, <clears throat> okay, so Doric, you're going to advance uh, stealthily, or are you just going to descend the stairs and, and search the area? Uh, stealthily as I can. Okay, that seems like a wise decision. Side. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, give me that stealth check. You'll take a minus two penalty because of the chainmail that you're currently wearing. I'm gonna do the sneaking on that. Yep. I don't know if um, check, then? maybe maybe someone more stealthy would want to go first, perhaps failing that perception, yeah. and then the backup plan could be Doric. Just throwing out some ideas. <laughs> that uh, chainmail's very jingly. Jingle bell, jingle bell, falling down the stairs. <laughs> That's only if you fail the roll. <laughs> So is someone else. So yeah, do you, you want to go ahead and silver stealth. skin? Okay, give me that stealth check. Modified by Dex, of course. Skill, skill level zero, right? Because it's yeah. That's right. Zero. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Penalty, nothing. Bonus. I get nothing bonuses or anything, just the uh, racial bonus. There From is, the uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's it. That's it. Wow. Um, <clears throat> do you take, you take do you take a torch? Or are no, you... I'm gonna leave the torch. If I'm sneaking, I'm gonna leave the torch uh, at the group. So but... you kind of you're you're descending into the into the shadows like. Yeah, as it's not very... trying to be too far ahead, just w- about where the torch light is. So I'm going to say that your result is actually a 9. Um, and what you're able to perceive is the extent of this large hallway, the other staircase on the far <laughs> side, an entrance way, um, <clears throat> two doors, sorry, two entrance ways, two doors, and in the center, patrolling back and forth, currently with its back towards you, you see this 
giant towering monstrosity that seems to be made completely of ice. Why can't we have a fire mage? It's stepping <laughs> away from you, slowly lifting its massive feet, and the room kind of trembles a little with uh, with each step. And then it stops, the far side of the room, turns very slowly to face you again, and just pauses for a moment, looking like he's going to patrol back in your direction again in maybe a minute. So basically, he's around here. He's around about there. I'm just going to drop the token in as soon as I can. Well, he's an ugly bastard. Yeah. Yeah. So, looks something like that, but blue or icy. Um, completely constructed of ice. You can pretty much see. I mean, if it wasn't so dark, you could see through it, but. Yeah. Well, do the other guys see, see it, or, or I'm the only one? Uh, no, unless they make a pretty decent perception check from their current position, no one else sees it, you'd have to report back to the group. Then I'm gonna try and sneak back and report it, that we have another another jackass here who's, <laughs> who's gonna be a big problem. Okay, I'm gonna say that your, um, your stealth check covers the return to the party as well, the whole scouting trip, so you're able to return with that information. So basically Maybe we can sense. talk to him. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't think this one's gonna be a much of a talker. You said that well, about the first one we killed. <laughs> well then, go ahead. I'm gonna be in a safe, have safe place or something. We could set up an ambush. Somebody goes to talk. If he attacks, we all attack. We all attack. That's I good. think we should just go with the all attack part. <laughs> Try yeah, surprise probably. attack, just all bum rush the thing. <laughs> well, sure. I stand behind. So, warriors, <laughs> are you coming out to play? <laughs> Get information. That's yeah, a, that's a strong suggestion, right there. <laughs> Um, so is someone so, going to make a uh, dungeon check? Right, right? So basically, he on this turn, or basically he's looking at this way at us. What's sorry? What's sorry? Uh, on, he's looking at our direction, right? He is. Yeah, he's basically patrolling this room. You can g give me another. Someone could give me another stealth check to go down, try and make a, a dungeoneering check. You could make a penalized check based off of Silverskin's description. That's a possibility too. That's a possibility too. Um, I'll use a, my dungeoneering skill in the handbook that we have to try and make a penalized check. Okay, so the, the bonus from the book will just negate, so it will just be a dungeoneering check. Okay. 2d6. Pretty sure that bonus is a plus 2, right? Yep. I have no idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's plus 2. Um, that, well, that is a success. Um... You don't necessarily learn the most information, but one thing that's pretty obvious is that this thing's definitely got an aversion to fire. Oh, we can throw torches. Or smack it with the torch instead of wasting yeah, it. That, ah, that's what I mean. So Hold a torch and constantly make a circle around it. It's it's huge. I'm not saying that you couldn't attack it with the tor with torches and that it wouldn't be more vulnerable to torches than another creature might be, but um, torches aren't going to deal very much damage to something so monstrous. Fuck it. We torch him. <laughs> I mean, if we you had, like, it. if you could throw a, a jar of oil that breaks on impact and then hit him with a torch or I something. Don't think we have oil. No one has oil. Uh, you did visit the general sure store. Not. And I did attempt to drag that scene on for as long as possible, but no one has oil, so... Uh, by the way, what did the description say? Does he actually just vulnerable to fire, or does he despise it as it appears? It run, will try to hide from fire or anything like that? D definitely <laughs> no uh, recollection or, or implication that he would be afraid of fire, just that he would definitely sustain more damage than usual from a, a source of fire that would come into contact with him. So, we get information, 
pull down the torches and fucking attack. How about that? Why would we put the torches out? To yeah. fucking see? I That's thought you said idea. put them out. Oh no, pull! Oh, oh right, pull, yeah, yeah. But we have some out, right? Some of us. Uh, we have one torch out. I'll say there'll be probably one back at the top of the stairs trying not to draw too much attention. Yeah. Hey, you have to bring that one here. Oh, yeah. Um, open Can I roll, I don't know, tactics to get a cool formation because they are fucking doing nothing? Um, tactics is useless. I don't know, something. I kind of feel like attack. setting up an ambush here would be very difficult. Maneuvering your troops into position with the, the chain mail and everything and yeah, actually that's a, that's setting up an ambush, problem. it's going to be really hard. The only thing we got for us is that he's unaware for now. Now. Yeah. Um, and, there is, obviously, there was the, the balcony area, and you guys have loads of climbing gear on you. Just throwing that out there. Uh, you do have options. Well, that's an option. What are we going to do? Mm. Let, let's do the climbing one. I did, I just did that. Okay, let's go up. So instead of an encounter, more of a, a skill test. Yeah. Uh, as we return to the top, you guys can make your way over to the the balcony room. Whatever the, uh, the I don't know what to call it. The law I'm room. <laughs> get my grappling hook, tie a rope, try to tangle the grappling hook to the balcony. Yes, yeah, so let's but, see. Uh, by the way, can I grab this chest? Uh, pull it here and throw it overboard. You just want to throw the chest over? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, so that I can, uh, uh, let's just say that we can just dodge the height or something. Okay, so, so this... um, give me a perception check as you drop it to uh, determine what you can. I'm guessing I'm not the only one. Everybody's trying to listen for it or something. Anyone else who's attempting to, to decipher that information, go ahead and give us a perception check. I'm focusing on the rope. Yeah, I'm just going to work out uh, how all of these bonuses work based on your equipment. Oh. Wow, okay. I mean, you just know this is a 20-foot drop into a shallow pool of water. You're absolutely convinced of that? Okay, I think we can drop more to pull up us down. So or how should we do it? Climbing harness gives a plus one bonus to athletics oh, checks. Um... The so we do yeah. The grappling hook does nothing actually; it just secures the yep. rope. Yep, that's right. And the rope, the rope also gains uh, gives you a bonus. So if you you know secure the grappling hook and begin to abseil down the rope, you'll gain a plus two to the uh, relevant check. I have athletics, so that's not gonna help or what? You have a athletics, yeah. Athle this is an athletics check. Everyone who wants to try and descend the rope, um, go ahead and, and make an athletics check. That's going to be modified by um, <clears throat> dexterity and athletics. Everyone Let me gains. go down first. Yeah, if if you take the time to send the harness back up and everything, everyone's going to gain that plus two bonus. Yeah. So that's a that's a ten, um, silver skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, uh, it would be an 11. Plus 1 from the rope and plus 2 from the heart. No, the heart, no, the the heart is a 1. Uh, yeah, the plus 1 is from my dexterity as a human. Plus 2 total. Okay, so that's a, that's a plus 3 total. So that's absolutely flawless. What a descent. More test. And, <laughs> and that, yeah, I... You just flat and flop. I really, really apologize. Uh, we're going to deal with that in a second. Another excellent descent from Thurwin and uh, solid descent from Doric. So, uh, and Sean, beautiful, beautiful. Um, so you guys are just, uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for? You're incredible at acrobatics. Um, everyone except Morteth makes it successfully. I will ask you now, are you lowering yourselves down to the platform below? or down to the water, which is... So 10 feet below you is another platform. 10 feet below that is a shallow pool of water. 
is that we just see it as a platform as an outcrop of something it's or just like this balcony it? again below and then there's water below that balcony so it's like two uh, uh, the balcony. Stop in the balcony okay balcony. so yeah you guys got beat stop you guys find yourself there um we're gonna have to wait to switch scene because we're just going to deal with morteth now morteth i'm so sorry i'm so sorry um, you're, you're gonna have to make gonna, i'm gonna grant you the opportunity to land on the platform instead of the water by making a successful athletics check to swim through the air towards the platform good luck with it <laughs> oh don't get a minus on that so it's just a straight 2d6 athletics and strength do you have a strength wow. you have no, oh, actually, i do have strength. strength this is dex actually oh, sorry dex. no i don't have dex no <sighs> A seven. This is, and this is something very, very difficult to do. But, but, does the party help him. grab his hand? Yeah. I do. So everyone reaches forth to you, and without their assistance, you would have certainly fallen the additional ten feet. But they they attempt to to kind of pull you onto this platform. You sort of land on top of everyone. So you just wind up in a huge heap. Um, I'm going to need you to go ahead and roll 3d6 fall damage. I'm so sorry. This is oh. brutal. This is more dangerous than the guy we fought first. Falling off of things is nasty. Oops. 3dg. <laughs> That's... Wow. That's brutal. So... Go ahead and give me a luck saving throw to potentially half the amount of damage that you now take from this fall. I have any luck. <laughs> you definitely have some luck, don't uh, worry. Luck's 13. 13. Yep. So what would I be rolling to do the save? It's a d20, just a single unmodified d20, and you need a 13 or above. Come on. 16. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you take five points of damage from the fall. And you, uh, yeah, you kind of squish. Uh, you wind everyone who land, who is beneath you as you land on them. So he should be at three. Three. Ooh. Drop a minus five on your token as well. Just, sorry, that was Doric. Bad. That okay, was yeah. close. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> so the, the grappling hook is back up top you kind of have to like flick the rope and get it down or something if you want to retrieve your grappling hook and everything um and yeah <clears throat> you can uh well you can sort of see that you're in what am i missing right now okay we're on the wrong map i was like <laughs> you, you don't see anything what's going on okay <clears throat> get you down to the other map now guys and you are going to be across here Uh, so everyone can go ahead and move your tokens. This room. Assist with that. Everyone found your token, I hope. And uh, landing on this platform, one of the things that's immediately obvious to you, as well as the pool of water below, uh, is a chest. Just, just sitting there, just right out in the open. I'm it's gonna, a trap. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the chest. Cool. Um, yeah, the the chest is right there. It's it's locked. Yeah. I grab my dagger and my start dagger hitting the lock. Hitting the lock. Hitting the lock. Yeah. Commonly something which Commonly produces something a lot of noise. Lot of noise. Um, are you I'm absolutely positive? I mean, come on. This is risky. <laughs> so are you, are you doing it, Thurwin? Yeah, fuck it. Oh my god, okay. Give, oh me, my god. A, give, give me a strength <laughs> check to smash the, the padlock off of this chest. One. Get a one. Be a weakling, please. That's gonna, that's gonna be an athletics check again, uh, modified by strength. Zero. 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 He makes zero. no noise at all zero, with zero. his weak hit. Come on. He stabs himself in the back. Oh. <laughs> okay, maybe I should give you an opposed check here. In fact. You can do that in DM so that we the, don't the beast can't the, wait the beast can get through that corridor I mean <laughs> presumably um yeah it's it's huge it's a huge thing it probably couldn't um but, but do you attempt to do this 
silently or are you just breaking it off no i'm trying to wedge it between the lock i don't know how the lock would be all right okay so you you break open the lock um successfully yeah you're able to kind of um like jam the the blade into where the locking mechanism is and just like you know bring down like maybe maybe one of the the the, the uh warriors like it's it whilst you hold it in place or something. I don't know, but it works, and it's quiet enough that you don't seem to alert anyone. Um, yeah, the, the chest is unlocked, and uh, you go ahead and swing it open. You'll find for yourself a set of leather armor and a vial of strange green liquid. I take the potion. Right, right. That, Wait, green that? that green liquid, that green liquid, does it dissolve stuff? Yeah. No one knows uh, what the green liquid does right now, but you what can size examine is the armor? it potentially. Is it a human human size, dwarf size? So, uh, as you're kind of examining the the armor and maybe trying on a, a piece or something, like it sizes to yourself. That is some high-tech armor for such a low-tech world. <laughs> <laughs> we can't even do One that now. Fits all. Yeah, universal species per species. One size fits all. I mean, that that, <laughs> that in itself, though, when leads you to believe that this is an artifact. This is uh. I'm fucking putting it on. This is a magical item, but. So you equip it. Currently it works as just standard leather armor, um, because you don't know how to use it. I and none of us have the skills to test it out either. To identify an artifact, you need to make a successful arcana skill check. None of you are trained in arcana, so that's quite a difficult thing. I'm sure. Let's try. Okay. That'll be modified by your intelligence, and you'll take a minus one. So it's still possible. It's just gonna be really hard. Okay. Yeah. So you you you're unable to discern exactly what properties this artifact possesses, but you will gain a plus one bonus when you try again, uh, and you can try tomorrow. That's the earliest that you'll be able to attempt to identify this thing again. But okay, any of okay. the other party members can, can take a crack at it if they really want. Uh, Shawa, do you have armor? I have a spare one now. He does. Armor. Yeah, you've got leather equipped already. Yeah, so I have another. Sean? Any armor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got leather. Oh, fuck's sake. Well, we have an extra set of leather armor. An right. extra set of yeah, leather. Yeah, but that one's special. Yeah, it's a... That one's special. I want the special no, one. No, no, no. I, I, I have the special put on. <laughs> I have a regular no, you... set of armor. Set of armor. Nobody, nobody wants regular. What's special about the that? Shiny. Leave, it, leave, it, leave it in the chest where we found it. I'm, I'm gonna take a dive in the water and see if I can find anything in there. A dive. A literal Jesus. dive. You said it was pretty shallow, so... Okay, you, you sustain a broken neck now. Um, do you do you want to lower yourself down and, 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 and examine the area down below? The rope is yeah, that, still that hanging seems... there. Okay, it's yeah, if you didn't pull it down. All right, go ahead and give me that athletics check to climb down again. That's going to be modified by Dex, and I'm you'll gain a attempt to climb. Sure, you'll gain a plus two bonus uh, for the um, rope important. and the climbing harness. All damage. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, while this all this happening, I'm just gonna stay in this hallway and sticking out that seeing if any movement from this way. Okay, nothing uh, emerges from the darkness yet. Um, Sean, you descend down. It's quite gracious, not exactly perfect, a few slips, um, but you lower yourself down uh, and your feet... Uh, what race are you? You're human, correct, Sean? Uh, your feet dip yeah. into a shallow pool of water that comes up to about the knee. Okay. Um, yeah. I start sifting through, see if I can find anything. Yeah, go ahead and give me a perception check. I'll be modified by wisdom and your perception skill. Oh, this, this is not going to be good. 
You always ask for some assistance. Uh, uh, I could get lucky. There is a... Holy oh. shit, dude. Ooh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's the zero. Yeah, you, you are not able to find any information here. Nothing. You'll find I mean, water. Yeah, there's, there's water. definitely some water there. I mean, very guys, damp guys, smell. I found water. Break some news. But you rolled a natural one, so but, I think you even miss the water. You cannot find the water. So, is anyone going to perhaps assist in the search, or uh, what do you yell up to the party, Sean? Like, it's, it's too dark, I'm not finding anything. What's going on? Uh, I climb back up. As I say, I only found the water. Nothing? Sure? Nothing. Alright, give me an athletics check to climb up again. Okay, let's hope I don't fail this one. And got the two because of the rope. Beautiful. Oh, where was that before? before. Practically <laughs> jump back up. Okay, um, yeah. yeah. Good. Now we are taking on the beast. Seems uh, Thorwin's quite eager for combat. Yeah. What about the rest of you guys? By the way, you should move the top of the monster because uh, we, they're sometimes fast and he's patrol night. He, you did say that he's patrolling. He's patrolling up and down. Yeah, so he's just like so walking just like left walking. and right in front of you. He never goes outside of your vision. Kind of walks oh, off okay, and right. okay. That is if you approach and, you know, kind of peer out of this uh, entrance way down here. I just want to stay hidden in the bar. The scouting, uh, not scouting, I'm just the nurse. How to say this? Yeah. I'm physical now. No, no. So no one needs to no scout needs because to you, scout. I'm just going to say you guys recognize that as the room that you were in before. It's quite apparent. Um, before yeah, we go into combat. Um, I use my healing kit on Morteth since he had Thank taken you. some damage from falling, and I so. Okay. Healing. okay. So you're not going to be able to use the healing kit to just instantaneously provide him with heals right now. You would actually have to tend to him over days worth of rest. Okay. Um. Also, did I did I take ten damage from that fall? You took five, five because it was no, hard. Five. Oh, five. No, that's fine then. That's yep. fine. I've got we have the red points. liquid potion. Maybe it's a healing potion. It's risky. We don't know anything about it. Mm. Yeah, again, that would take a successful arcana check to identify it. You guys aren't exactly proficient in the magical arts, but... Um, I'm going yeah. to take my grain potion and cork it and drop a, a little droplet. In the non magical armor. So you're taking, is this the red potion? Or the green the potion? Green one. The green potion onto the leather armor. It eats through the armor, confirming that this is a uh, acidic liquid. I got it right again. Yeah, it's an acid. I was right. Yeah, we, we had thoughts of that before. Didn't, didn't yeah, have I, to burn your clothes. I, I, I just confirmed it. I confirm just... So the now, next guy go, we can check that out. Yeah. yeah. So we can try to trap this beast. Or we can use the acid to try to burn off a lock. Or that, the drop. So I'm just going to say that the rope is still hanging right there. Um, yeah. <clears throat> no one else yeah. elected to search the, the watery area down below this balcony. Uh, which no, kind of said there was nothing. Was nothing. In a t <laughs> yeah, he returned to you with no eyeballs and told you there was nothing. Um, so we seem to be stuck between a, a rock and a hard place at this point. What's going to happen, guys? We need some decisive decision making. Decisive decision making. We will have to take him out or something like that. Or we should, or another option is to run to this place. We can do what I said. I'm just yeah. going to say, um, it was only Thurwin who who attempted to identify the leather. 
Everyone else can, can mm. examine the leather set if if they wish to do so at this juncture. It could really potentially examine it. It could potentially. You're seasoned adventurers, and you well understand that a powerful artifact could change the odds in this upcoming encounter. I mean, it's just well, I think it's, we should leave the to wait on your mind. Magical thing for the professional, but at least that's my opinion. Okay. Uh, I get let's... close to the shower and go. Do you know what this does? Rubbing my nipples. <laughs> Can I kill him? <laughs> you can try. You can still try. I think I think we should see if the monster's friendly. No, Just because last time we had problems. We An interesting yeah, yeah, approach. Yeah, yeah. We can do what I said. We can. Now prepare. you guys did um, read through the adventurer's hand. Sorry, the dungeoneering handbook and. You didn't gather as much information as you would have hoped, but there definitely was no mention of it being friendly. I mean, it's the, you're kind of in an absence of information, if anything, but it, was, it wasn't it was mentioned. Yeah, we can Nobody do what I said. It. Now we have the corridor. We can prepare an ambush in the corridor. One of us goes in, uh, talks to him. If he responds well, good. If he responds bad, badly, uh, the one who talked runs back, the creature follows, and we all attack. But uh, this is kind of flawed logic because who knows? He no, doesn't understand lo understands us, and the attack and because of the attacks. And the guy it's could be also a lot faster than us. What that? But you just go. I don't. I'm not saying you go next to him. You just from far away. You say hi. <laughs> But then what we, say? What, who knows if we could even speak the same language, yeah. let alone if, if it can attacks, speak, if it's smart if enough to. If he doesn't understand, it. well, we fucking kill it. Wow. <laughs> this is... Here we go. One I like that idea. idea. It's initiative. We, we got to do something, boys. We're hiding in the corridor. <laughs> can I do... Um, Come on, uh, let's prepare. Back to the level. Come down the stairs, approximately here. No, okay, there, there's the thing. So we basically go around, take a long move, and basically try to, I don't know, wanted to, let's say, try that, try that. Talk to him and everything. He's, I'm basically going to kite him away, jump down the... Uh, the rope and everything. So basically, take the long road again back. Basically, he's away from the way. Dodic could do that. He could, like, talk to him. And if he attacks, maybe he can defend and we all attack from behind. So I'm just going to state at this point that if you were to climb back up the rope and <clears throat> approach from the stairs, you could potentially surprise the creature and uh, ambush it. Um, if you were to, if you were to approach, it approach it and draw its attention, draw its attention you would lose the possibility of, of performing that ambush. So you've got a couple of options. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm going to walk the ambush. We could have me just walk down this corridor and then everyone else approach from the stairs and attack it from behind while I keep it occupied. But we would yeah, but also have to be able to communicate. No, but it's a lot safer to have one person go up the rope than to have four different people. Death almost True. died. <laughs> True. I failed climbing a rope, all right? Just drop it. <laughs> I mean, you're a lizard. Wait, yeah, doesn't that make you really good at that? Shit. You're not the used to bondage. I think it's probably more the, uh, the sword and, and all the weight of the gear. And stuff. <laughs> So, how about this? That I'm gonna try and ambush that bastard, and as you guys see the thing happen, we're gonna rush in and everything. I'm, this is gonna get a little bit drawn out, so that's my. Come problem. on, let's do something. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, you can try and you could go back up the rope, or you could all just rush yeah. in, or you could continue uh, searching this room. You could try and identify your artifacts. You got plenty of options here. Gotta do something. Yeah. Make a decision. Yeah, I mean, you can choose a safe option or a very dangerous option. It's 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 your choice. Shiny boy, oh. can you identify my armor? 
Do you know what? I'm going to check. I'm going to see if I can identify his magical yeah. armor. Give me a arcana check, modified by intelligence and your arcana skill. My magical vapors. Sorry, uh, sorry, silver skin? Sean is playing a girl character. Oh, sorry, what? Could you say that? There's a lot of echo from Doric. Is Sean playing a female character? I don't believe so. I don't believe so. But Sean, are you a female character? Wise? I'm a man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, man. Ah, okay, I'm just gonna hear it. Okay, this thing is, is uh, it's absolutely baffling to you. You made no progress whatsoever, Sean. Solid effort. Good job. Proud of you. I'm gonna take my hand at it and see if I can figure out anything. Yeah, okay, give us an arcana hey. check. Everybody touch me. <laughs> Everyone's kind of just like, oh. oh. Okay, with a six, you don't uh, identify the properties of the artifact, but you do gain a plus one bonus to your next attempt at identifying the properties of this specific artifact, and that can be done tomorrow. Borte, want to have a go at it? I can do. I don't believe it'll be any good, but... Same here. Let's try. So what are the bonuses? It's intelligence and arcana. I mean, the best thing you can do is throw all of your checks at it. Yeah, I've got yeah. just a straight 2d6. Yeah. With a minus one. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so you don't Better. discern its properties again, but you do make some progress, gaining a plus one bonus to your next roll. Oh, the same sake. for you, Silver Skin. So, uh, th uh, four of the five of you, everyone except Sean, will gain a plus one bonus to their next attempt. <laughs> I'm not attempting again. Nobody needs my help. So basically, our next options are going down the water that we didn't The next option, you have not searched this room in its entirety. You have not identified one potion. And, yeah, ambush or just approach the thing. Yeah. Or deal with the threat in the next room. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do we all want to just make checks on well, um, the two potions we I'm have? I'm to check the room here. It's fun. Okay, give me a check. That water. Let's do there's the. There's nothing um... in that water. <laughs> he's he's water. convinced there's nothing down there. Um, yeah, he's he's trying to talk you out of it. But go ahead and uh, anyone who's going to search that room, give me a perception check modified by wisdom. So that's a, a perception from Thurwin, right? You're searching the room. Yep. And Shao, you're searching the room too. Boy, um, is anyone else gonna maybe assist or, or search themselves? Or, or... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll have a search. You can even search from up top. You don't have to climb down. So Mortes, yeah. you could do a little yeah. bit of a little search up there. So Sean, nothing for you. Um, Shall we? You're kind of searching around. You're not really finding anything. Uh, maybe Mortes gonna lend a hand. Yeah, if I can um, assist. Um, Shatter, on the two, the number eight roll, can I uh, not do that? Was no, that, that wasn't a perception check, it was a six, All but right. you can ass you can assist on the six, potentially yeah. pushing yeah. it to a seven. Yeah. So, uh, do, do I just eight. roll a 2d6? 2d6 for, modified by your perception and your wisdom. Perception, I don't have any wisdom. I've got minus one on minus wisdom one. and perception. It's I've got a zero. So, okay. I'm nothing. just a minus one. Wow. <laughs> that couldn't have been closer. Um, Morteth is kind of fumbling around as uh, or sorry, rather, he, he's looking around too. You're, you're all looking from up top because no one descended the rope. But you notice something suspicious um, to the lower right wall of the, uh, of the pool below. Some, something seems out of place, as if the patterning in the in the in the stonework, the stone masonry, is is somehow different here. It seems as if maybe a door was uh, sealed or or something. Yeah, uh, yeah. So basically, me and Morteth see that. Uh, yeah, you're kind of looking around, and then Morteth points down, and then you you immediately uh, okay. recognize, like, oh, this is. We're gonna point it out to everybody that there's something there. Yeah, there's definitely something down in the water of uh, interest. 
There is so this, much. I'm just gonna say it. Do. I'm gonna say it. I checked. There's nothing there. <laughs> We're wasting time. You guys are crazy. <laughs> We're wasting time. <laughs> Too much pipe weed. Maybe. Can we go and attack the beast? Go down the to the water. Do something. I'm boring my balls. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> guys, let's uh let's move forward. So one's dying here. So yeah, you found something that looks like a potential secret entrance in the water, and then you've got the other option, certain death. I mean, uh, an encounter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna propose. Uh, where did that gargoyle go, though? Gargoyle. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, you've no idea. Okay. I think it's gone. Yeah, like he didn't pass the other dude. Like, I doubt they're on a team. But he jumped into the water so with they... the steps and everything, the flush and the steps. So. He got a confirmation that he's gone there somewhere. So is anyone going to go down and investigate this? Uh, I'm uh, All right. Yeah, someone with athletics. Whoever's dexterous and athletic. I am not climbing any more ladders. <laughs> There's no ladders here, but I support that. Oh, no, right. <laughs> My last endeavor wasn't too good down there, so yeah. probably someone else should give it a go. What is this check? I mean, there wasn't even a check required. It's just... Oh, okay, but I thought we were going to need to... Lower myself down there. So you, so oh, said, of course. I thought this was relating to the door. That was beautiful. You kind of slide down the rope. Uh, your feet don't even touch the side. It's extremely gracious. You approach the area in question, and uh, you I'm begin. Going down to... I need a perception here, right? Okay, just hold off on those athletics checks. So we, ju okay, there we go. There's got athletics checks. Sorry. You make it down successfully. No worries. You. Feel around again, and eventually you find another pressure, pressure plate in the wall. And uh, again, just as before, these rocks sink back, these stones sink back, and then slide to the side with a large ground, grinding sound. The water kind of stirs below your feet, and you see um, a corridor that descends into pitch black darkness stretching out ahead of you. Go ahead and move you guys to the appropriate map after everyone's given me the athletics checks to get down, if everyone chooses to follow. <sighs> Oh, Teth, you can come down. You can cushion your fall. You can, you can your fall. If, you want. if you're not feeling comfortable about it, you've got really nasty wounds. So, Sean, Maybe have the, you're down. Have Sean no inspire him to do well. Or that. Or that. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll inspire. Okay, give me a, uh, <clears throat> a uh, performance check. Help your athletically challenged party member. I, I have a musical um, instrument. I'm gonna play my uh, recorder. I don't think you bought one of those. I uh, do. Check my inventory. Okay, fair enough. Okay, you did. Um, so this uh, doesn't offer any inspiration. You kind no, of. I know. In fact, it sounds like a cat being strangled. <laughs> <clears throat> I think I, think I hit a wrong coin. Morteth, you're down with a heavy splash as you land. Um, that leaves, I believe. Uh, no, Mind Sean descended. That leaves Sterling. Right? Doric, no, did you go? I have not descended. Okay, we're so, waiting on Doric. 2d6 yep. minus <clears throat> 1. Alright, everyone is down. Standing in a shallow pool of water, your feet are pretty wet. Um, yeah, and this is secret door has now been opened, and uh, you see a new map. Get your tokens on here, guys. Um, yeah, so it extends into total darkness. Um, it would require you to enter with a torch to find out what's going on beyond this corner, basically. Position you next to right now. By the way, do, did I notice any uh, change in the water level as the door opened? Uh, no change in the water level here. It's all on this same level. Okay, okay. There you go, guys. Right, yeah, so the torchlight illuminates uh, up to the corner, and you can't see beyond it. Uh, no change on the map, or at least for me. Oh, there we go. You should see everything you can see now. I don't know why the music is uh, failing me today. Back up. It says nothing currently playing, so... Are you guys able to see your tokens? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep. Alright, so how do you proceed so from here? Proceed? Collectively. 
So I presume this is the corner. Yep. yep. The door is open. Door is open. Yeah. Let's can go through. We are in water, so that we cannot really sneak around. So in what um. Yeah. What marching order are, are you moving in, and is everyone weapons at the ready? Um, I'll go I'm first since I have the best armor rating. Okay, Dark leading the. I'm gonna be near him or something like that. Okay. Um, Morteth presumably next, followed by the. Uh, In the middle. Goes with. Actually, Sean has no ranged capability right now, but that music certainly travels. Um, <laughs> okay. Water. You know it. So, uh, you know it. how many torches are we are we running with at this point? Just one at the front, or possibly more? I think we have two torches, right? Right, okay, so maybe front and back of the party. Um, it's going to provide you one. some or, reasonable distance. You can see 40 feet with that. So, uh, you guys approach to... So, th those who are in the front of the group, can you move your tokens to where my ruler starts right now? Yeah, we you can't can even, see anything else. You can move there, so... one more space up if you want. Oh, yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> Don't forget to reveal the areas. Okay, yeah, and then the rest of you who follow, just uh, position yourselves in formation as you see fit. If you choose to hang back a bit, whatever. Do what you like. Um, okay, perfect. And uh, I'm going to need an initiative roll from everyone at this point in time. Oh, I forgot oh, to add that's one. Bad for me. Ooh. That crit. Hey. Oh, and a one. Balanced out. <laughs> Descending order. Uh, that leaves us with Thurwin acting first. Thurwin, uh, as you move forwards as a group, sort of. Uh, your, your feet, sw I can't think of a good word right now, sploshing through the water below. Um, uh, you're suddenly greeted with the sight of two huge lizard-like creatures that are almost entirely submerged in the water, but you see the ripples and the movement as uh, they begin to stir, obviously alerted to your presence by the ripples that you caused while on your approach. Uh, how are you gonna? How are you gonna act? Hey, Montez, is your family? No? <laughs> Don't think so. Okay, and I draw an arrow. Shoot it. All right. Try to aim for the torso. Okay, cool. So you gain that plus one bonus, and this thing has an armor class of six. Penalties? Penalties? Uh, yeah, there's a minus two low light penalty. Um, Ouch. No success. Yeah, when you add those penalties, remember you don't need to actually drop the minus in there. But you do have true shot right now. That is an option. I'm going to sell it and move to the side. Okay, a respectable decision. That brings us to the Groot slang. You guys don't, don't know that information. I shouldn't have told you that. Um, <laughs> okay. Language. <laughs> I'll just write that down. Um, Let me just pull out my dungeoneering book and I'll just uh, have a yeah, gaze no, of what that is. No one really got a real opportunity to check these things out, but that it isn't to say that you might not find some valuable information by doing so during the encounter. That's, that's completely possible. Okay, this Groot's, this, this giant scaled creature, largely submerged by the water, comes rushing towards you guys obstructing the entire corridor and it's now right right on you but it can't it can't act anymore it's just closed the distance and that brings us to morteth i can't really do anything from this position what i will allow you to do is nothing yeah wow you really are generous you know that yeah <laughs> i'm sorry you can move through 
an ally space Allies. you can't occupy it with them yeah. so and i can't move can't through move. it into an enemy space so yeah this is uh, a little bit tricky but uh, that's the nature of a tight corridor yeah. it brings us to Doric. okay i attack okay this thing Coming. ac of six don't forget that attack. elusive attack bonus warrior class combat skill of zero no modifier I have a strength modifier, so I'll just add one after it's done. Nice. Oh. Successfully strike the beast on Ooh. its scaly flesh. Roll some damage. Incredible. Um, what happens is... Uh, you plunge the sword into kind of like the, the shoulder region of this thing. Uh, sorry, is it, what weapon are you battle using? Axe. You, so you drop like the blade of the battle axe onto this thing, almost removing uh, it, one of its one of its legs. Uh, the thing looks extremely heavily wounded at this point, and uh, well, it's just not happy at all. And that brings us to Sean. I will grant inspiration to Lassius. To, to to increase shower. damage to his blade. Oh, to, to shower, yeah. Go for it. It's a performance check. Let's go. Come on, Luke. No more dead kitten. You gain a plus one bonus to your next attacks roll. Tax attack roll shower. Sorry, that echo is really really hard to talk through sometimes. Well, you said that we can visibly see that he's in really much pain. He's oh, he's, he's extremely out. heavily wounded. So I'm not gonna waste the assassination, just simple... That seems logical to you. Yeah. yeah. So at all, the, what? Two D6? No, there's an attack roll, it's a D20. Oh, this guy has an AC of 6. I just thought of what I you could do, Morteth, and I'll allow yeah, you to retcon yeah. it if you want. If you have the Dungeoneering Handbook or Dungeoneering Skill, you could I make don't. a Dungeoneering check. Oh. Even, if, you're, even I, if you don't have the skill. I, mean. do I can give you the book, so you get plus two. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to do that because combat is In currently combat. I do have the skill. So how much bonus I get from the music? One? Yeah, you get a plus one bonus. Ouch. Nothing. Inspirational performance is still available, but again, this was not an assassinate, so... Uh, just I, think, I think I, I'm going to use inspirational, because it's so weird. By the way, can I move? Do you try to hit it and move away? Um, yes. Can move 15, so yeah. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, Shower is, is not open to an inspirational performance at this point in time, but... Yeah, I'll save it. Save it. I'll, okay. I'll save it. And that brings us to the second scaly yeah. approaches out of the shadows. How far can this? Oh, you might just ride up in there. He's just in the queue. Okay, <laughs> form the line. Queue. Death queue. <laughs> uh, okay, and that brings us to uh, Thurwin, Brave Hand. Um, I'm gonna drop a headshot. Oh, yeah. I mean, on the uh, the furthest one or the closest one? Because the closest yes. one looks wounded. It, look, it looks highly go, wounded. Go for the second one, because since you uh, don't headshot, that'll do damage. Drop a like. headshot on the second one. Cool. Okay. Again, 6 AC. Give us an attack roll. Uh, do I have penalty? We have some touch around. Uh, no penalty. It's close. It's illuminated by the torch light. Uh, that's it. Nice. Unfortunately, twenty. Not connecting. True I shot's got still a up. True so. shot. Yep. I okay. I the macro because it's more comfortable using it is, the macro. It's pretty good. Okay. True okay. shot is used. Let's try and. <laughs> Oh, wow. Nice. 
Go ahead and give us some damage, see what you do to this thing. Remember, take a plus one to this roll for your headshot. Aye. Oh my god, incredible shooting. Wow. Um, this thing, it kind of, it kind of rears its head and sort of flails and kind of, it, it's kind of trying to slink. Is that a word? Backwards. Um, but it, it's just, it's just completely thrown off. I don't, I don't know if that's even a word. Well, now it is. Okay. Um, so yeah, that both of them look uh, fairly, fairly heavily wounded. Obviously, the closest one is much worse for wear. And that brings us back to the first uh, creature, which is going to go ahead and obviously attack Doric. It's not intelligent enough to. To try and force its way past or something. Uh, just gonna take a swing at you. Your AC is uh, two. 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 And these guys have an attack bonus of six. Whoa. Missing completely. <laughs> so these jaws snap right next to your uh, your your shield hand, perhaps, or perhaps the, even it it clamps its jaw onto the bottom of your shield and tries to sort of death roll your shield. I kind of like that imagery. Okay, and that brings us to more death. Okay, I move my token up to here and roll to do sorry, a I'm sorry. standard... Sorry, I'm sorry. Morteth, I, I realize you're reclining in a very relaxed position, but you don't move yeah. the token. In fact, Morteth, the warrior charges forth in a dimly illuminated water-filled corridor wielding a bastard sword right that's what yeah. happens that's what happens there we go got it okay and i will roll to attack that was a that was an attribute roll so oh, it was, an attack sorry. Roll. i've been guilty of that mistake oh. there it goes ac is Six. I forget what it was. Six AC. Six. 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 Yep. yep. And is this on the closest of the two creatures? Um. Yes. Oh, you couldn't. You couldn't reach further. What you say? I mean, he's kind of a badass. He can split both of them. <laughs> Charge clean through them both. Okay. Um. That that's a miss. Uh, that's a miss. Uh, inspirational yeah. performance is, is still lingering. Over on Sean, yeah. if you want I'll to draw call out that, perhaps. Yeah, sure. Um, so, uh, Sean, describe to us the, the type of performance that you unleash, and, and Morteth, go ahead and re-roll that attack roll. See if you. My see. my voice echoes across the halls and the water. I'm right, gives it does. My voice a nice lift, and it soothes the whole party, but it gives you inspiration, my friend. Just you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice. It's clarified at the end. Beautiful. Go ahead and give me the, those two d six, Sean. Uh, no, it's not even a. It's not even a, a, a skill check. Apologies. <laughs> give us that second roll, Morteth. Okay. Marking uh, inspirational performance is used. And that's another miss. <laughs> Very sorry. Terrible inspiration. Very sorry, guys. That brings us to you Doric. You don't want to hit him. You shake this thing uh, clear of your shield, and uh, you're, you're free to act, Doric. I swing my battle axe to right. attack. Same again. Fortunately, missing the beast, we roll around to Sean once more. Okay, um, who can I inspire? Thurwin. Or... Yes, I, I inspire Thurwin. His... Okay, now let's... Shao Kahn attack next turn. So, yeah. So, yeah. I, si I sing Thurwin, a mighty ballad. So when you gain a plus one bonus to your next attack roll. Cool. Shower, silver skin. I'm gonna throw one of the my daggers. I Excellent. Think that I can throw past them or something like that, right? Yep, that's on within your normal time. range, so no penalty. And uh, the creature is illuminated sufficiently. So I'm just gonna flip the toilet. Sorry, guys. Yep. Check okay. that your. Uh, you carry on. Trained in ranged combat, otherwise you will receive a minus two penalty from being untrained at ranged combat. 
Uh, I'll, I'll also take a look. Second, I think I'm not in training range combat. Let me check again. So, uh, yeah, just not, melee. So yeah, yeah just melee. There'll be a penalty to this of minus two, but. Combat for the roll twenty. Yep, AC of six. And we're getting some uh, crazy one, cinematography one, from Sean. Uh, <laughs> So basically, I'm getting a plus one for dexterity and minus two for untrained, right? Yeah, you got that penalty of two. Wait, that's a plus. Yeah. Does he get a bonus because the what? two warriors attacked him? So that should be a penalty of two, not a bonus. Ah, uh, that's a minus, so that's 23. Or do you want me to roll it again? Uh, uh, no, that's a success, so I'll give you that. Plus, as uh, was pointed out by Thoen, you guys are using that ganking bonus um, as long as you do choose to attack the same target. So, yeah, go ahead and prompt me if you guys are specifically trying to, to perform a gank, gain that bonus. Do prompt me. I apologize. You know, do my best here. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, we kind of can attack only the same target. So. Well, it's, there is a ranger there, but, you know, and you were throwing a whoosh, you're not in five feet right now, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> so, what happens? Completely spacing out, thinking about rules here. Um, so basically, I'm just throwing a dagger. So that's dagger damage. All right. Oh, yeah. You hit Get some damage. Oh, oh, oh. Your yeah, handle hits it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the, the dagger sticks into this creature's back, uh, and it, it writhes once again. The the water as it splashes around is becoming more and more red, or or even a blackish color. Um, and uh, yeah, the the creature fights on, unbelievably. Suffering all this punishment. Oops. Um, okay, and that brings us to Groot Slang. Uh, that's the secondary one. It's just in the queue. Can't do anything. It just roars angrily. Um, Thorwin. Hey, I'm going to take a torso shot. And I do, I have the Ganky bonus. Plus the one from the inspiration from Sean. Yeah, you've got an that's inspiration true. bonus. And you've got a, as long as those guys will both, are you both going to attack the front Groot Slang this this turn? No, no, I think no, no, I'm gonna think kill it. It's most likely gonna go down, so... Yeah. Yeah. But you can still... In the bonus yeah, from their presence. Definitely. But it's a hit. Yeah. Okay, I, you don't even need to roll damage, it's on one single hit point. You slay the beast. Okay. Um, okay. And that brings us... Unless you want to move, that brings us to more death. To the side. So what does people want me to do? You could Maybe charge they... an attack. I think that might be the best option. All right, walk up there and give me an attack roll. No charge necessary. <clears throat> no fee. Attack of six. Bonus of one. Ouch. Okay, unfortunately, you don't e. connect. Uh, your bastard sword swings wide, ricochets off of the uh, off the wall, deafening everyone in the surrounding area, bringing us to Doric. I also move forward to attack. Excellent. And it was six AC. Attack bonus of one. Oh. Okay, A valiant effort, nevertheless. Sean. Still awake, so. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna sing another mighty ballad to Morteth to hopefully slay the beast. Excellent. I hope so. It was that 2d6 skill check as the um, sounds ring out in this uh, small confined area. No bonus. No bonus. <sighs> so close. Oh. Cop in the us one. To Silverskin again. Yeah. So can I basically walk up to the back of the guys, pick up the dagger I just thrown, and throw it again? No, you can walk up and pick up the dagger. Okay. Um, or throw your second dagger. It's readied. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna throw the second dagger. Okay. Cool. Give me that same ranged attack roll. Uh, due to no training, minus two penalty. So mine is still not plus two. Plus six plus one minus two. 
out of 15. Yep, perfect. <laughs> Except for it misses, but perfect roll. Okay, um, yeah, another dagger. That one kind of disappears into the, like, out of the range of the illumination of the torch and sp sploshes again into the into the water there. So it's to this Groot Slang, who gets his first taste of blood, potentially. Uh, he's going to go ahead and he's going to attack... Uh, who dealt the killing blow to the previous one? Stereo. I did. Threw in. That makes no difference. So he's going to attack uh, Doric again. Yeah. Let's see of two. Attack bonus was six. We're incorrectly. So, oh my God, these uh, these jaws jaws managed to penetrate your guard and clamp down on your upper left thigh, and it just begins violently ravaging your leg. Um, dealing damage can this thing do? Oh my god. <laughs> You're dead. Three points of damage. Okay. Thurwin, your turn once again, sir. Ah, I remembered. I actually have a brain. This is revolutionary. I'm gonna make a morale check for this, uh, for this creature. Because you took the first blood uh, on the first one. Okay, that's a nine, and this thing has a morale score of seven. This thing surrenders. It it rolls on its back and surrenders. It's just there, like no, I give up. Please. Yeah. Hey, let's not kill it. I don't know. It did deal a pretty big blow to me. Kind of angry at it. <laughs> so yeah, it's but already maybe, sustained maybe. some injuries, though. It's gonna have a scar, a memory, you know. Maybe it can help us if we tame it. Jesus, this guy is really thinking now. He's on fire. <laughs> You're the hunter. You try and make the... Show sure, us to the side. But it's going to be kind I of... Grab a, a, I grab a ration. The rations. The rations. Ration, yeah. I had the cooked meat. And right. I offered it. Okay, the give piece. me a... Um, well, this is this is interesting because you're attempting to <clears throat> no. Let me confirm what type of creature we're dealing with right now. It's going to be quite important. Okay, yeah, give me a nature check modified by your wisdom. You're going to attempt to tame this thing. I'll give you a plus one bonus for sacrificing the ration. Remember to remove that from your character sheet. I put a four by mistake. It's a one. Not a four, a one. So it's a seven. Ooh, okay, interesting. A seven. No, a seven after you've injured it is not enough to uh, to gain its trust once more. Unfortunately, uh, this creature is broken by the traumatic experiences that you put it through and uh, attempts to scurry away into the darkness, uh, disappearing, unless anyone were to attempt to wrestle it or something. Okay, um, congratulations on surviving another encounter, guys. I'm going to reveal the remaining area in front of you as you explore with your torch. You come across a water-logged chest, just kind of sat there, <clears throat> about half submerged in this water. Oh, I the chest. Ah, I haven't got it yet. Where's, uh, where's that chest at? I'm, I'm getting to it. <laughs> uh, by the way, while they're doing it, I'm gonna uh, pick up my daggers. Yeah, excellent. You do so. Both daggers are intact. Um, I I need my arrows. Okay, give me a luck saving throw and tell me how many arrows did you fire in that encounter. I uh, five. Five. Okay. If you succeed a luck uh, saving my... throw, you'll gain two that's, arrows. That's Thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen or higher. Thirteen or higher. Absolutely. Okay. And it's a two. All of your arrows are lost in the water or broken, unfortunately. Okay, the chest is locked. Uh, as you check it, Sean. Can't pry it open. Okay. Okay. Oh, let, let's try the acid. Or, or I, I can to... just pick the lock. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, let's, let's go for the acid. acid. Pick the it's lock. That time. sounds like fun. Shower, the man of reason, steps up to uh, to pick the lock, I'm assuming. Go ahead and give us that thievery check if you want to. Dude. I mean, you guys can start grappling each other in the murky water if you want to choose who. I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. 
It's like uh, trying to uh, drown, him. drown him. If they want more wrestling, they can have it. Is it a padlock? Uh, yes, yeah, or... just a padlock on the front of the chest again. Yep. Okay, so I like take the padlock, the po the poison, the acid, and acid start and dripping a bit of acid, acid on the. Okay, so you slowly drip, drip, drip the acid. It's not particularly affecting the metal. You pour more, half the vial. It's still not broken. It's definitely weakened. Do you want to stop? We might yeah. need the acid later. Yeah, we might need the acid. I put the cork. Okay. You save so the, a remaining half a vial of acid, and this thing looks substantially corroded. It would be very easy now just to break it off with a drink. Hey, Dottie. Okay, 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 let me let me open my chest now. Yeah, okay, so go ahead. someone kicks the padlock, it plops into the water. You throw this thing open, to... and uh, what do you find? Okay, I kick, I kick the padlock off, and I open the chest. Okay, so okay, you've so seen Pulp Fiction, Pulp right? Fiction. <laughs> yeah. Throw open the yeah. chest, and a bright golden light just glows. It just illuminates this whole area. Okay, inside there is a, another vial, the same size as the red one that you found earlier. It's sparkling, just this luminous golden color. It looks divine in nature. It's it's like nothing you've ever seen. Your all your eyes are just shimmering as you're enticed by this this thing, and uh, next to that. You see a very, very damp, waterlogged, large leather pouch, uh, which, if you pick up and Ooh. examine, seems to be heavy with gold. I'm loaded. I'm loaded. I I equip I equip the pouch for style reasons. Yeah. And I wrap the the potion in my bedroll and stick it in my backpack. Excellent. Okay, so uh, go ahead and mark down the golden potion. Yet as yet unidentified, and uh, don't make it a golden shower, please. <laughs> 100 gold pieces inside of your pouch, sir. Wow, oh. we all get a split, boys. We all get a split. Yeah, that's up to there. We, we don't know about the gold, we just put on the pouch and everything. Okay, so guys, and with that, us. with that little um little reward there, that little uh, explosion of loot, if you like. Uh, I'm going to suggest that perhaps we wrap up for today. We've yeah. played about four hours. Uh, if everyone's yeah, almost four and a half. If everyone's happy with that, we can just go ahead and, and uh, pause yeah. right here. It's been a, yeah. a great session. Really appreciate everyone yeah. showing up. Uh, I've had an absolute blast, so thanks, guys, and uh, I look forward to next time. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. See you, in a week. See you guys next week. Next, next week. Sunday, same time, same place. Okay. See then. By the way, by the way next week, See I may be going right. to be See So, my See friend you. is having a wedding at Saturday, so I'm going to be maybe out of my mind. Okay, that'll be fun. I'm looking forward yeah. to that. <laughs> All right, guys. See you later, everyone. Okay, you Thanks for stopping by. Bye. Bye. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed everyone on stream. Hope you've enjoyed Call to Arms today. We'll be back next week. Um, maybe I'll see you then. Peace out.